Your eyewitness weather forecast. Well, good morning. After our wild, wild round of weather last night and into this morning, the good news is things are starting to quiet down and it's getting less humid. I know that's something some of us have been looking forward to. And here in Dallas on the campus of Misericordia University, clouds are breaking up. We have some sunshine getting through, but take a look at the trees. It's getting pretty breezy right now, and that wind will stay a little gusty as we go through the remainder of our day. That being said, we actually have one lingering shower that just does not want to give up right near East Stroudsburg in the southern portions of Monroe County and Pike County near Digman's Ferry as well and Delaware. This will eventually taper off. Still some decently moderate to heavier rainfall on this, but that's really about it at this point as we get this out for a wider view. Well, there's not a whole lot going on elsewhere. Clouds and some sunshine and maybe just a spritz or sprinkle to watch out for within the next half an hour. But that's pretty much it. The cold front that brought all of this to us yesterday afternoon through last night is moving to the east. Behind that cooler, but especially drier air is starting to work its way back into place. So it's still pretty humid right now, but that's going to change the later we go through today. And there's the cooler air. Temperatures will make it into the lower and the mid 80s in a select few spots today. It's really dependent on how much sunshine we end up getting. Then a quick drop as that cooler air comes in tonight. We're quickly back down to the 60s and then we'll get much more comfortable overnight as we end up in the 50s. And because we'll be dropping the dew points as well, that's going to be decently helpful. So the comfort index is bordering right along that humid, sticky territory for the remainder of our afternoon. It's really tonight into tomorrow morning where things really start to get more comfortable and the cooler air starts to win out as well. So here goes the cloud cover. Good sunshine for the remainder of our day. Tomorrow, a cold front does try to drop in from the north, but there's not a lot of moisture in the atmosphere at this point. So as this tries to come through, it doesn't really have any fuel to fire off any showers or thunderstorms. So tomorrow still does look dry. Saturday, we will need to watch for just a pop up shower. Looks like rain will stay down to our south though Saturday afternoon, and we will just end up mixing clouds and sunshine. It will be Sunday that we have a better shot for a rain shower, but that even being said, it's nothing too organized. It's just this area of low pressure down to our south that we'll be watching through Sunday, but that will then linger into Monday, Tuesday, and even Wednesday, bringing us a few more showers. But drying out today, clouds and sun mix 84 for the high. It's not quite as humid. The wind is picking up to around 10 to 20 miles per hour. So just keep in mind, you know, anything that might be loose on the garden might get blown around. 56 tonight, we're at 82 tomorrow. Saturday at 74, mix of clouds and sun both days. Sunday, that shower at 72. Then we lock into a more unsettled pattern. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we're in the 70s with a few showers each day. And we can